oh yeah, this is how you start an e-bike review. You start out riding it, not just talking about it. I'll stop here in just a minute and tell you about the specs on it, the things I like about it. But first, let's zoom zoom a little bit. This thing's got power. 80 newton meters of torque. So fun to ride. Okay, let me find a spot to pull over and uh, I'll tell you about the features, but I don't want to get off of it. All right, thanks for stopping by. So this is why you need an e-bike. I am camping in the mountains of New Mexico and I'll be honest with you, I need a little bit of assistance to get up some of these hills around here in the National Forest. And that's where this thing shines. So this is the King Bull brand, and we're gonna find out, is it King or is it just Bull? First of all, there's certain things I look for in an e-bike. Look at the wheels, no spokes. See, spokes need maintenance, and these will never need any maintenance. You'll never have to true up the wheel. That's the first thing I look for. Second thing I look for is disc brakes. This has it, but it also has hydraulic disc brakes. It's like a motorcycle. There's hydraulic fluid in the brakes. And this bike, it stops on a dime. It has folding pedals. This is very important because I travel in a camper van and I'm limited on space. So this will fold up just like this. And the bike folds in half here. And space is at a premium in my camper van. Now, I didn't want to waste your time with the unboxing because if you want to see the unboxing and the assembly of the bike, it's on the King Bull YouTube channel. You just search for King Bull Bikes and it will show you the video on how to assemble it. Now, it really doesn't need much assembly. It comes with the rack already on it. The rear wheel is already on it. The handlebars are just folded down. All you got to do is put the front fender on and the front wheel and that's pretty much it. Oh, you also have to put on the headlight, which is massive and it's really bright. Another thing I look for in an e-bike is the seat okay. Am I going to have to spend extra money and replace the seat? In this case, this seat is fine. It's wider than my previous e-bike. You know, I've had another one that was a very similar design to this and I had to replace the seat immediately. It was just too small and I couldn't stand to be on the bike over 10 minutes. But this one's great. I will not be replacing this seat. Another thing this bike has that no other bike I've ever seen has, this is very important. It has a kill switch here. I have never seen a bike. I've had five e-bikes. This one has a kill switch for the power right there. This is off currently. And if you flip the switch, it'd be on. And then the power would be right here at the controller. I don't like the power stopping right here all the time. I would rather be able to kill the power right here at the battery. It's just a much safer design. My previous e-bike had a thumb throttle and it was on the left-hand side. I did not like that. I like the twist throttle. So you twist, the it's more like a motorcycle and it's on the right-hand side. I just like that. And the way the grip is, you can overlay your hand. You want to be able to put your palm here on the grip and use your thumb and your index finger to twist the throttle. You can control it better. I like this design. It's step through, so you don't have to swing your whole leg over the seat to get on it. And I thought, well, a step through bike is not going to have the weight capacity of a standard bike. Not true. See this bar they've added here? Not only is it stability, you can use it as a handle to pick the bike up. This is brilliant. This bike has a 400 pound capacity. My other bike had a 300 pound capacity. Look how beefy the frame is. Look at the wells. That's machine welded. The battery sits right here in the frame. The battery is low center of gravity. You know, a lot of e-bikes will have the battery coming across like this. And that just causes a higher center of gravity. You want all the weight down here near the wheel hubs. And with it designed like this, you have all the weight down here lower. And the bike just feels much lighter than it actually is. 
The total weight of the bike is 71 pounds, but I always remove the battery before I fold it up and store it away. Here's a pic of it folded up. Click the link for all the detailed dimensions and specs. Okay, enough talk. Let's ride it. 750 watt motor, 1300 watt peak, seven speed Shimano shifter, class three e-bike. You can run it in pedal assist or just throttle. You don't even have to pedal if you don't want to. I like to mix it up. All right, let's get out here and do some extra testing. Shift through the gears, shift smooth. I didn't have to make any adjustments to the derailleur. It's a five different pedal assist mode. We'll kick it up in five to see what the top speed will be. I'm gonna do here is throttle only. See what we can get up to on this dirt road. Man, this is awesome. 27.9 miles per hour. So we'll call that 28. I think that's the limit on a class three e-bike in the States. I think that's the rule. No more than 28. It'll do it. Front suspension is soaking up the bumps really well. It doesn't have rear suspension, but I guess you could add a seat post suspension if you needed to. But I just find just letting a little air out of the rear tire solves that for me. Okay, let's do a brake test. <laughs> Man, that's got some stopping power. The hydraulic brakes work great. Okay, let's just cruise along a little more. Looks like I'm riding directly into the sun, so I'm going to turn it around. This will be better for camera viewing. All right, we'll cruise back and... Once we get off this dirt road, then we'll go through some of the rough spots, see how it handles the rocks and the rough terrain and the hills, see if it'll pull me up hills with throttle only. Just some general testing. I'm looking for things I don't like about the bike, and really the only thing I can come up with is the grips, the handlebar grips. They could be a little better, but for the price of the bike, I'm not complaining. And also, if you're in the market for this, make sure you use the discount code that I'll have in the description of the video. It comes with a lot of goodies, a cable lock, cell phone holder, the rear rack, and an air pump. That all comes with the bike. And I think with the discount code, you could get it all under $1,000. Every other e-bike I've ever had was over $1,200. Yeah, I was without an e-bike for three months. And I sure did miss it. They're just so practical and so fun. I think when we turn off the road here onto the campground loop, I think it's time to zoom zoom some more. All right, let's kick up some tunes and enjoy the ride. Alright my friends, thanks for watching, take care, be well, and smash the bell.